Hello, you geriatric genies. This is the Rogue Rifler, and I have been delinquent on your content stream. So, tonight, we're here to record a new video and resume the Great Bug War and the growth of the Stunties. That's right, they come out of mountains, and they're really mushrooms. I think I might be getting, uh... <laughs> Might be getting the universes mixed up with something else. I don't quite know. Anyway, I've totally forgotten what happened in previous episodes, and I did not prepare myself. But it looks like we have settled our war with Tofu. And that's the, the purple guys over here. Um, I think they're officially, yeah, Toku Chika, but their, their name's Tofu. And with our help with the Autonoms, I believe we conquered their territory. And then the Autonoms proceeded to... Uh, if I remember right, conquer our territory <laughs> after we beat the bugs. So that was fun. And we're still at war with, uh, was it Hujong? Yeah, Hujong is being a jerk. I think this is his last colony. He's holed up here and we took his territory and we're afraid to leave because if we do leave, he might take his, ter take his territory, but it's now ours by conquest back. <laughs> So we're in the great standoff, where um, at some point, I feel like the upkeep from this should overpower his income. We'll see. And then people are trying to take all of our money. It's great. And then because we've uh, burnt so many space bugs, uh, one of our heroes is a little... A little unhappy. So, I don't think I have any way to deal with that right now. So, at some point, he could just take this and run. Which, you know, it could happen. Um, it's probably also because he's in an abyssal tear. That might be a thing. Uh, we have upgrade points for him. He is level 7, so actually I want to save those points because that way he can do more cool things. That's, that's how things work. Um, and we could go and fight this. I don't even know what we're doing. I think we're going to kill uh, the random marauders and try to clean up our territory. Maybe get a colony up here. That's looking like a plan. So, why don't we take this on? This should be an auto. Hey, we got a little dude. Oh, we got, I think one of them retreated. This guy can run back to new space ball. As an unexploited sector. And it looks like it can claim more. So if I claim this now... Oh, I can't. Um unfortunate it looks like I could go and try to claim this over here or I could focus on blocking off uh, tofu so we're gonna do that we're gonna block off tofu here and maybe grab double mountain sectors for a lot of energy income Okay. We've got another army over here. Looks like this one's unupgraded. So that gives it a super mechanical setup. Could it honestly just make this like a super stack? And maybe make a little bit more of a, a junk stack. Then we've got a bunch of a bunch of dudes over here. No heroes. Um, what do I want to do with them? Well, we're technically not at war, so I think the plan is to send these guys over here to clear out 
uh, this nest so they don't spawn more stuff and to get a bunch of experience. Let's see. Yeah, we'll send one of these over here. And then this army can come down. We could also actually take out this. Let's see if we can auto it. Por favor. I'll take it. And this is the other army with, um, what is it? The monitor. I think we want to keep the two stacks of monitors together. So let's do that. This stack can kind of maybe come down and get a new unit. Now we've already blown all of our energy because it got stolen from us. So let's see, are there any cool upgrades? Not seeing it. Um, this is like, what does this give us? Plus one science for each ruined sector. So there's just one. Oh, we still haven't cleared this. <laughs> oh man, they're just, they're just bathing in the essence. Um, I don't think we have any forests. Hydroponics, so I'm not really seeing a whole lot. Um, just generate energy. And up here, we could set this up to start building more stuff. Um, Yeah, let's get Military Engineering Guild and let's see. And I guess we'll grab, what is it? Um, an assembly line so that way our units are cheaper. Over here. Um, got energy, we've got food. I think we want hydroponics, we want food, not hydroponics, it's a, it's a wind farm. It has nothing to do with hydroponics, but you never know. So we're just going to just more upgrades for everything, because that is the point that we are at in this game, is to click all the upgrade buttons until we are satisfied with all the plus one icons everywhere. Um... Might as well recreation dome. Oh god, there's more buttons. Too many buttons. So I think we cleared this. Yeah, we did. So we could make this an energy sector for the juicy plus five benefit. Let's do that. I think this already has yeah, has a central biofarm. We're all set. You guys want Okay, they're saying we're gonna fight you. So we found a, a site, and I think our only hero is our angry bug dude, right? Nearby. Looks like we're going to have to send him over here. We should actually clear this out as well, um, but looks like we'll have to do that next turn. So we're back, and the world is not on fire yet. I think that's going okay. I have a reinforcing army anywhere. I could actually bring these guys over. Where are they? Right here. Um, yeah, let's do that. We're going to bring this army over. We'll have a three stack and we'll fight into this and take out Hugh Jang once and for all. Because he's not going anywhere. This guy explore. Yes, he can. Uh, they offer 170 energy for 15 causes belly. Can you give me 
40 Cosmite? 50 Cosmite? Uh, I'm not going to give you 15 causes belly for a song. Uh, let's see. This is research. We can do it in a turn and a half. Let's do it. And I think we're... Where is our diplomacy? Okay, yeah, we just know that these, these two factions. And we're doing missions for both of them, if I remember correctly. So, over here... This guy's still upset and actually has a chance to uh, leave. We're going to try to come over here and grab that. Um, this is probably more than enough to handle this. Got a Malactor, but I've got a bunch of cool stuff. These guys, can they resurrect people yet? No, I haven't researched that yet. Oh, it's probably after I get all the unit unlocks. Um, that's unfortunate. So, do I want to fight this? I've got upgraded everything. I've got... We're going to see if this gives us... Minus... 50% uh, accuracy penalties from line of sight while in combat. So, actually, I should be able to afford... Smart rounds and I think it would technically be better for those guys to have smart rounds, uh, which I think they just ignore line of sight penalties. Um, But we're going to fight this now, I think, and then figure out mods later. Oh, I didn't even have to fight it. Take it. Uh, we're going to put this guy on explore as well. And let's get rid of that. Or actually, instead of exploring, this guy can join up. Now we have another army. I can clear things out. We auto this as well. Alright. It's time to engage in the manual combats. So... Welcome to Battle Cam, the inconsistent segment that sometimes airs. Possibly, maybe. And what are we up against? We're up against upgraded grasshoppers. They jump at you and they do nasty things. I think we've seen that before, but they have contaminated claws, which gives them, looks like poison, and what else? The evolutionary mutation, as opposed to just standard mutations just it's just happy and has more hp looks like that's what they have on both units and the flamey boys they have the mark of the dark sun if they kill something they get even they do a lot more damage and fiery infusion attacks have an eight strength chance to cause burning i thought they already did that but you never know they burn even more they burn harder and faster and then we got big tanky guy who throws flaming rocks and generally hulks out, you know. So, don't look like it's too too crazy. I say this before everything goes horribly wrong. So, we're going to put our tanky melee unit forward. Um we're, all of these actually no, the hopper hounds are not immune to status effects. So, we should tr I'm going to try to get an infection on one of them and our boiler plate super dude thing it's gonna run forward be a general boss um, I'm gonna try to avoid grouping up because the big guy can throw a rock you know you just that's not great you know so we're gonna go out here put up our little bunker 
and get in the cover, make someone happy, and call it a day. Okay. So, we're going to pop our... Our super attack. Oh my gosh, we can just annihilate one of these things. Um, well, we're going to try to kill one of these hopper hounds. Uh, probably the best to proc it on that one. And it looks like I got poisoned, but it did not get infected. So let's actually try another... We're going to try a parasitic strike because they're both... In range and we got both of them so that's one proc and this guy is not in melee range so he's gonna run out fire at it um, it's been staggered this looks like it's a kill this thing I think it's all around awareness so it can't be flanked, so we're just going to go in and kill it. Alright, and then this guy can run over and just kill one of these things. Be like, boop, and by kill I mean do absolutely nothing. Okay, so this thing can't actually get any more procs. Um, so what do we do? I could ram this guy. He has a decent amount of armor, so I think that's the plan. And we have a charge bonus on our attack. So we're going to move a little bit. And... Uh, yeah, it's fine. So we did the good old 22 damage. Very nice. Uh, that thing is injured substantially. Um... I think the plan is to move into cover and try to shoot this thing. That should be a kill. Okay. And this thing is going to run into melee range and hopefully not die. And I have... I have to get next to this thing to heal it, which I can't do this turn. So hopefully it lives and doesn't die horribly. Okay. So now we have all the heals. And I like how it's booster rocket animation plays when it applies a heal to somebody. Just, you know. Oh, whoops. Wrong button. Oh, I have to use this one. There we go. So, I think this unit just runs in and staggers that guy. Um, and we just wait a turn. And then this robot guy can heal that guy. We have all the healing effects in the world. I can't heal this thing though. But I can run in and just one shot that. So I will take all the energy and it looks like that army is ready to move back. What do we have up here? Got like production setup going, still upgrading it. Uh, what's our upkeep at? We're at, we still have, we have to uh, get higher. Uh, we have to increase our energy, basically. So right now we're spending more than half of our income on upkeep, which is not a good place to be. And I don't really care about this. So, um, where's our other reinforcing stack? 
these guys. I kind of want to bring these guys over here. And I don't believe I have the Cosmite to upgrade them this turn, but I'll do so pretty soon. So yeah, my goal is just to finish off Hu Zhang. Um, he has a decent number of air units, but I don't think that'll be a problem. We have two Plague Lords and two heroes. It won't be a problem at all. I just love, like, we have we have tiny dwarves with giant hammers. It's like the opposite of little anime girls with giant hammers. Uh, okay, we found the spacers. Um... Let's see, so the Paragon give us big awesome robots that potentially can do arc damage, which we can't normally do. And we have, I think it's, we also have the Autonoms, which give us like repair nodules and stuff like that. Lots of armored units. The Spacers, they would give me something that would benefit... Um, a thermal damage mod, which might be nice. I'm trying to think of, like, I want to actually do quests for them. Uh, I don't think I want to. We're going to stick with the Autonoms and the Paragons. Uh, let's do that. So if we look over here... Um, these guys, I want to have them come over here. This guy can head down. Actually, could we beat that with this? Uh, it's a pretty low tier stack. But I don't think that's a huge problem. Let's just do it. All right, now it's time to ask, did the upgrades change at all? And it looks like no. So the little firebugs are the same as before, and these guys, uh, they come back to life. They explode on death, and they come back to life, which is phenomenal. But it's only the one with, like, is that like an ox? Yeah. Only the one with the ox skull. So what do we do? Well, we have these big armored... Autonom units that are good at soaking up damage, so that's what they'll do. Um, these guys can run out in the open because they have Skitter, which makes them hard to hit the further they move. I want to keep away from their, their Mega Beetle Babies because they have melee attacks. So I think the plan is just to go around the flank here and then follow up with our other units in the rear. Now they don't have any AoE, so I can kind of stick together like this. I guess these guys could like run forward, but I'd, I don't see them doing that. Um, and I'm going to hold on deploying our little bunkers for now. Okay, so this guy could walk in and do a big AoE attack. Um, this thing's going to explode no matter what. So let's just take the hit, blow it up, and it's going to resurrect next turn, unfortunately. Um, these guys can both deploy their little bunkers. And... Let's see, I kind of want to get in on their range units and hinder them. So that'll take care of this flank. Uh, I have a grenade launcher, and I think it has, a, yeah, it has a blind effect. So I'm going to go trying to hit both of these guys. And they both resist the blind that had an 80% chance hit I call bullshit. 
but I can kill that anyway. Um, and do I think I'm in danger? These guys are hindered. This guy doesn't have great attacks. Um, this thing's losing some armor, but I think it'll live. Oh, yikes. Maybe not. Okay, it lives. It lives, and now everybody's on fire. Because that's, that's just the best. Uh, so this guy's going to back off, and we're going to get our heal in. We're going to run through the flames to heal this guy. And you can just kill that. And that leaves these units to just clean up. Do I want a piercing bell? Well, armor is not a big issue for me, so we're just going to keep pumping up the energy and feed our opponents who keep taking all the energy from us because they're the best. Uh, it's a pretty low tier stack. Completely unupgraded, probably it's fine. Um, maybe just take out this. Are you kidding me? Okay. Okay, game. I know it's a low tier unupgraded stack, but you're telling me that it died to three melee units. I mean, granted, we don't have any Overwatch. Okay, I could kind of see how this went horribly, horribly wrong. Um, but still. Oh, you're going to be... A little jerk. Well, fine. Yeah, eat that. Mmm, 20 damage in your face. How's it feel? Uh, I don't want to stack up too much. I think this is fine. Oh, yeah. Eat that damage. In fact, we will stack up. Yeah, how'd we lose that again? I still don't know the answer to it. So we just killed one of their units, and it doesn't like auto resurrect, which is great. And now is when we have to kill the unit in its defense mode. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be fun. Uh. Well, we didn't get the resurrect. Or not the resurrect, um didn't get the kill. Let's just try to shoot this thing a bunch of times and hopefully it'll die. Yay! Doing great. Okay. They did great. Uh, come over here, get a level up. Though none of these have any cool... Oh, we need to kill those guys. I keep... I don't know how I forget about the, the awkward breathing sounds. But let's see. So... We're going to form up... Oh, this is like the triple hammer threat. Oh, you know what they say. <laughs> It's hammer time. Uh, that's that's old. That's really old. Um, and they're cyborgs, so I don't actually have to give them a Xenoclag mod. So I could give them just explosive resistant armor to make them uber tanky. Oh, oh yeah, look that six armor, stagger immunity. Oof. Oh baby. 
Do we have any more of those guys? Uh, well, there's an easy way to figure it out. So, it doesn't look like a lot, but it's our entire military. And there's the other one. I want you. Oh, okay. So, I kind of like the blind missiles. Yeah, okay, we're going to go back and waste even more upgrade points. And uh, instead of this, I want the flash payload. The Zikun Bender. Oh, man. It's the... What is that? The nation that just... It's like a subset of the Fire Nation where they, they bend guns. It's great. Uh, yeah, that's where we want it. Okay, so those guys are upgrading and doing all sorts of stuff. This guy is waiting to do something cool, but he can't do anything cool right now, which is unfortunate. Um, I'm wondering if we could fight this. Probably not now. Uh, is there anything else I want to grab? Yeah, maybe we can clear out what's up here. And we have 5 billion energy now. So we're just going to rush this for 400 energy. Why not? It's going to get taken from us anyway. Um, this was our super science lab. So I think we're also going to rush the bioengineered food plantation to hopefully expand a little bit more quickly. And... Oh, we have to ask these guys to leave. Sir, would you kindly get off of our lawn? I uh, don't look like... Oh wait, don't I have... I can deploy trenchers. To like, hey... It's these guys, right? Yeah. Would you please vacate the premises? Gives me plus one influence. And what's this? The Firestorm Missile Salvo, which we learned previously is absolute dog shit, even though it looks pretty cool and sounds amazing. Um, but yeah, it's garbage. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, let's just get all the upgrades going. Let the upgrades flow through you. Alright. Um. This is looking like it's about time to do more random upgrades. So that looks like a ruin. Oh, let's see what this is. Over here, we've got another sector. We've got food, we've got energy. Oh no, we're both unupgraded because we're the best. Uh, what do we want? Well, uh, they're both mountain sectors. So we could do another major, and we already have an energy sector down here. Uh, so let's I guess we could do food and we could do energy okay and I could potentially buy more stuff like another heavy soldier We'll wait on that. How much does it cost to get these monitors? 60. Yikes. Hmm.
They're definitely really good. They're probably better than the, um, what is it, than the heavy soldiers that we're getting. I can't wait to kill this thing. Okay, so we're getting Causa's belly. It's great. More of Cassius's belly. It's happened. We've got tanks, which will be phenomenal. Uh, this guy is just moving. I think we're hanging out over here. What is going on over here? Uh, I think we're heading back. Or actually, this thing could go clear out this nonsense, which is also what this is doing. Uh, is there a Psy Kitty with a bunch of melee? Doesn't look too bad. It's also high tier. You know what? Can we just bring these guys together? We'll do that. And now, I think it's time to do what we've always wanted to do, which is take out Hu Zhang for once and for all and make his life, I don't know, we're just done. So I think this will be hard, but not impossible. Eh, why did I do that? Uh, well, let's see how well the AI does. We're probably going to fight it. I don't know why I clicked auto combat. It's just out of force of habit. They're really going at it. Ouch. Ouch. We're going to we're going to fight that. <laughs> oh man. They don't even have turrets. Okay, so what are we up against? Um, we are up against, I guess, Hu Zheng's final stand with a bunch of gunships. Hu Zheng himself, so gunships have bleed rounds, they have purification, and they have um, purification means they can cleanse status effects, and they have hazmat protection, so they're pretty good against bio. Uh, we've got unupgraded golems, this one's upgraded, and it's got armor, na they got nanite drugs, and they're 20% harder to hit. Uh, looks like a lot of autonom core units that look unupgraded, this one's upgraded. Anti-armor, can like shred armor, but there's two of them over there. And then they've got some bonus assault drones, which are fairly weak. They do like nine damage. They're they're decent anti-air. The skirmish drone, which does the eleven repeating attack. And you notice, since I I changed the the units directly with the buff carrier mod, they do thermal damage, which is cool. As opposed, anyway, I I'm I'm not gonna go <laughs> talk up that for every single time we see a drone or a drone related unit but i did that and i'm happy with it <laughs> so this thing our heavy soldiers is going to run forward um there's not a whole lot i guess these uh these pustules their best bet would be to get on a hero or the autonom backline but they don't want to fight this thing in melee so i'm going to try to avoid it for now Uh, and we've got our hammer guy, Grigori the Dwarf Furious, who, oh, he, is he Void Tech? I don't know what Secret Tech he is yet, or, or forgotten, but he doesn't have Skitter, so... I think that means we want to bring him out 
somewhere, but I don't want them to be within a space of this guy because they have a lot of AoE. All these gunships can fire a rocket. So we got to be a little careful in how we approach it. And we have our essentially anti-air unit. Um... And let's see, on this front, I do a little bit of a holding formation. Th my, my main guy has Skitter, so I think I can be fairly safe with him, even if I run up like that. Hopefully, he won't die instantly. I'm asking probably a bit too much, but, you know, maybe he'll live. And same thing, we're just going to move up our big tanky unit. It's going to hang out. Uh, is this guy, oh, this guy is Aztec technology, which means he doesn't get anything useful. Yeah, about that. <laughs> um... To run up our armor over here. Just kind of inch forward with our back line. Now they're doing all the drugs. This is what, you know, the wrong side of the, the wrong side of the, uh, you know, cyberspace looks like. They're all doing nanite injectors. So far we haven't died horribly. And I love that. It's like that, that unit in particular seems to do that quite a bit. Okay. So, nothing's died horribly yet. And, let's see. So this guy could run up to these guys. And get in their face. Which is great. Um, this guy took a boatload of damage. Probably going to want to repair him. Wow, that's really shitty damage. Um, this thing has nine flippin' armor. That's disgusting. How does this thing have nine flippin' armor? Oh, it did its nanites. Right, that's what's going on. You guys are doing nanites. And you got... I don't know how you have nine armor. So like well made or something. How's this? Oh, it's in defense mode. Oh man, nine fracking armor. So we could drop lots of explosives, uh, which sounds pretty cool. I kind of think dropping a big set of artillery over here makes a lot of sense. Okay, so at the start of our turn, it'll do even more damage. Oh man, look at all that damage resist. That is... That is royally disgusting. Well, I guess it's not going to kill itself. And... Just 
got one of those stupid pieces of garbage down. This is just like, this is just so disgusting. Um... Potentially blind a unit over there, or I could just shoot something. Um, this is just yikes. Oh man. Okay, we got the blind on their hero. That's a big deal. Uh, let's see. Start trying to do something to this unit. I could send a Darko Helmeto to run in and try to murder this stuff. Um... I might be able to one-shot the bike if I leap in, but all this is going to just eat him for breakfast. Maybe not so much because he has Skitter. Oh, he dead. Uh, over here. Just gun that down. Uh, let's see. It's our hit chance. It's pretty poor. Oh, he got credit, and still not enough. Just so much bloody resistance. Of course he grazes. Why would I expect anything else? Uh, let's just... Can I just punch it to death? Let's just punch it. Cool. And then we can come over here and use our little med kit. And we've got this guy over here who's unfortunately looks like he's in the sights of that unit. So we're just going to bring him to the back line. Hopefully he won't die. Oh god, the penguins. I forgot about them. Dancing robots. Okay, so this thing took a boatload of damage, but thankfully it has a little heal. So we can kind of disengage it a bit, then heal itself. And it's great. It's fine. Nothing went horribly wrong. We're the best. Uh, and I think... We could finish that guy off here. Uh, same thing. Walk forward here. Kill that. I can't one-shot any of that, so... I'll have to figure out another solution. Uh, over here, this thing is being a jerk, um, and it's hard for me to do anything about it. This is actually looking kind of dangerous. Um,
Can I target myself? No. Oh, but it can heal. Wow, I didn't realize I could heal it with the other kit. Um. I think we have to try to get the kill here. And we missed everything. Uh, this guy is kind of in danger. By kind of, I mean probably. Uh, we'll figure out what we can do over there in a moment. This front, things look a little bit more in control. Just run that guy forward. Oof, that's very good. Okay. So this is looking like an absolute not so fun zone. Not so fun zone. So we can do a breach protocol to try and get this guy out of there, and I think that's the best possible outcome. So now he has seven armor. I might just be able to tank this stuff. Um I'm also concerned about these guys, but we're not able to really hit them. The penguins will make short work of this guy, but we can be annoying and like run all the way around here. And I guess I could jump out of here to avoid the melee attacks. Um, I'm inclined to do that and go for, you know, killing this thing. Yeah, I think that, that guy died. Oh man. That's a big yikes. He died in cover there. Ugh. Well, I think the, uh, what is it? The Plague Lord can resurrect him. Or maybe not. Can he not resurrect him? Oh, he's not a Xenoplague unit. Oh, God. This is all going horribly wrong. Um... Doesn't have stagger resistance, so I think I can just knock it back. And then maybe shoot it. The answer is no on the shooting part. This thing healed and now is pretty much toast. Um, and they killed my support unit, which is not great. And this guy looks like he could die. Okay, well, at least we backed off a little bit there. Um, I 
don't really have anything to heal this thing. I don't want to lose it. So I think we're going to run it out of here. Okay, and now our hero is in awful is also in an awful position. Um I don't think there's anything cool I can do to get him out either. And I can't medkit this guy. Um, we're going to hold him in reserve a bit more. Okay. Um, how bad is it? Yeah, the penguin's going to murder me. Um, I could, like, run away over here. I do have skitter, so that makes me harder to hit with range attacks. And I'd also be in cover. Um... So, yeah, we're just going to have to run. Try to concuss this guy. I cannot affect the concussion, so why did it say it was a valid target? Questions were asked and not answered. It's dead anyway. Yikes. So he's in cover and has skitter, and it doesn't matter. I think this thing's pretty much dead. Okay, that's fine. This hammer guy's gotta be a little bit careful. Got the stun. Um, I think we're going to reinforce over here because there's all this nonsense. And I thought this unit would be the one that died, but apparently not. Get the kill here. Oh, 
Okay. So I think we're gonna win. Just at the cost of two heroes, but you know, they're, we can summon them again, right? Right? It's not a testament to our tactical failings. It is strategic, it is excellent strategery. So they can be brought back to life without any significant cost whatsoever. It was planned from the very beginning. At least that's what we tell the press corps. And we heal him. Oh, yikes. So now that thing's looking a little worse for wear. We can take on a dastardly penguin. Uh, this guy has... Where's our heal? It's all the way over there. Um, yeah, I don't think... Oh, wait. What can we resurrect? Oh, we can get our pustule back. Eh... Probably not worth the risk of this thing dying, because it's had all its armor stripped away, and it's not in the best position. We can heal it. Yes, we can. Uh, do I have any grenades around here? I think the answer is yes, but I want to heal this first. What's our concussed chance? It's not high. Why is it still making a flying sound over here? We'll just never know. Oh, I thought I could deploy more cover. I was horribly wrong. And let's see here. Uh, Grigori has already resurrected once this campaign. So let's just try to keep him alive this time. That guy's almost dead. Run over here and miss it horribly. That's how we roll. It's not a Xenoplague unit. Uh, unfortunate. I think we already had that revelation once, but I somehow managed to forget it. Okay, so now it's Hugh Jang versus the giant tentacle monster. Tonight. Sunday, 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 live at whatever the name of this city is. And we put an Overwatch arc up, but that apparently sees nothing, so we got to do this. Um, 
I guess we're taking pot shots at him. 10 out of 10 deployment. Um, well, we do have a pustule over here that I could save, so let's just end turn there. And then I think we can resurrect it and then kill this guy. That should be the end of Hu Zhang. And we lost a lot of stuff. It's not cool. So we need to spin up the Hero Resurrection Protocol. And who is this? Conrad Padornov, whatever. Oh, it's this useless idiot. Um, yeah, we should give him, we should give all these guys new mods at some point. But until then, it'll just be as is. Uh, let's see, we have a What's going on here? Oh, there's a production node that's occupied. Holy cow, that's a lot of stuff. Uh, I, uh, you know, hopefully this was just like a recon mission and they're going to go back this way. <laughs> um, yeah, let's, let's hope for that. All right, and Grigori, the last standing hero who survived it all. What does he get for his courageous valor? He's going to get Counter-Strike. Um, I don't even know what else. Juggernaut? Siege Master? Hmm. I can give him hardiness training. Why not? And then get one of these. Heals a friendly unit for 15. Short range AoE psychic attack. Repeating bioweapon. You know, there's nothing wrong with a heal. Uh, do want to fight that massive stack? Yeah, we're gonna wait a turn. So let's wait on that. Hmm. Must really be that we need uh, the uh, fanatics. To buff those units. They just don't seem that great without them. And on this front, what do we have? Let's get more of this stuff online. Get rid of the central science. Actually, we also want this. Okay. I didn't annihilate him. I okay. I yeah. 
Annihilate's probably the right word. You know, but he had to go. He was going to take his territory back, potentially. And he was looking real menacing, hoarding all of his armies in one location that just happened to be his last colony. But he had to go. Regime, regime change was inevitable. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to call it there, folks. I guess I should click the end turn and see if something horrible happens. Let's see what happens with this clearly expedition expeditionary force. Um... Are they all going to leave? Yes, they all left. Excellent. So it looked like they were going to invade, right? That, that was what was going on there. Um, and then they threatened me for killing the person that they were invading. I don't know. Bit suspect. All right, we're going to call it there. Hu Zhang has been defeated, and the numbers are going up. So hopefully things are going well with the Empire. I'll catch you next time.